Nicolette and I are at PetSmart right now. Why? <laughs> well, say hi. Nicolette and I have traveled full time for over a year with only ourselves to be responsible for, and we had no intentions of rescuing a puppy, but it seemed like fate had another idea. The family next to our campsite were yelling at each other, and we heard them say they got kicked out of their house. And as they were packing up their mattresses to leave, Nicolette noticed a small puppy with them. They said for $20 she's ours, but they have no food for her. We wanted to try and help them and the pups, so we gave them 85 bucks we had in our wallet, yes. and now we have a daughter who we still have to date. Yes. I know, you're gonna miss your mama. Yeah, the other mom was probably sad. Hi, baby. Oh, trick. Huh? Baby. So what were we girl. doing? She's a little bit of a biter. Uh-huh. Say so, hi to everyone. Say hi. Say, say hi. Say hello, look. Mm. Totally unexpected, right, babe? <laughs> yeah. You guys let us know what kind of puppy you think she is. She is a rescue, so. Yeah, they told us she was a mixture between like an apple head and a deer nose chihuahua. We think that there's a little something different mixed into there. I always like mutts, honestly. A little rambunctious every day. She's both kind of in shock because it started off like a totally normal morning and like we're just like, oh, where are we going crystal mining? You know, yeah. next. And then it was like, oh, now we have a dog. I know. Impulse decision. We woke up. Nicolette was looking, she was making coffee, looking out the window at our neighbors. We heard them kind of arguing and fighting and they said, we got kicked out of the house because of this. And they were just pretty loud about it. And there was 12 of them. They had four mattresses and they were I think sleeping. they were just going through like a hard time. They were going through a hard time, which we've all gone through a hard time. Mm -hmm. But when she said she loved the puppy, I've been waiting for Nicolette to want a dog. You've wanted a dog for a while. So I opened the back door and I'm like, hey, what are y'all doing with that puppy? Are you selling her? And they talked amongst each other and they said, well, for 20 bucks. I was like, well, that's not enough. Like not saying that we're rich, it just feels weird to give 20 bucks for a life. So I asked Nick how much cash we had. We had 85 bucks, we gave it to him. Yeah, we and felt like they maybe could have used it. So it was just like, let's just give with the cash we have. Our first big trip as a family. Let's go. I gotta close this. We have to get a couple things for the pup. The puppy came with nothing. They actually took the leash off of the puppy when they gave it to us. I say it because we have not named her yet. Nicolette has a hard time choosing. So I put this one back and we actually went with solid gold, nutrient boost. We got a retractable leash and then some dog food. And Nicolette's now looking for a treat. Seems large, but something like this would be good. Yeah. It's quite large. We like that. Okay, puppy. We're being very well behaved, and I think we got everything we need. A little toy. Ooh. Oh, you want this? Go ahead. You like that? All right, our first trip was a success. We got all of the basic necessities. A leash, treats, toy, food. It's the first time our little girl here that we have unnamed is eating. We think ever. <laughs> I don't know about ever. Uh-huh. Eaten. You've eaten before, huh? There's some more. Is that good? Nick, let's give her her first bath. Good girl, yes. Oh, it's a little warm. It's warm, it's needed. Stay there. You're okay, you're okay. She's being sweet about it. Day two of us having a puppy in our camper van, and it went pretty good. Last night she slept with us perfectly, didn't really get up to play until we got up. So she was very rambunctious the first day, I think probably because she was separated from what she was used to. Now Nicolette's taking her on her first walk, and she used the bathroom eight out of 10 times outside. have a vet appointment scheduled Monday. We're excited for that. Hopefully everything checks out with her. Yep. We think she's pretty healthy. We, um, she Are seems healthy? really healthy, but she has this little thing. She has a little and bump here. we don't here. know what it is. It's very soft little lump. So and we're the, worried. Um, she likes hair. Hey. I don't know if y'all can see. There's a, a soft little bump. little bump. 
Yeah, I think it might be an infected umbilical cord. I don't know if he wants to leave us. Yes. So right now we're just doing some off the leash training. She needs to be able to stay near Nicolette when she's not on the leash. And she seems to be doing good. I don't think she wants to go anywhere else. Oh, are you digging? We're gonna teach you to dig for crystals at least. Good girl. Yes. Opal. Opal, back close. Good girl. Come here, Opal. Good girl. Come here, here. You're so fast. Opal. Told me to tell you guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button on the video if you love her. Right, babe? Yeah. Opal did not say that. <laughs> Opal said it, I swear. She also said if you guys want to become members. Definitely didn't say that. It's her life, just so yes. you know. Well, I think her bed appointment's gonna go pretty well and we'll get her checked out and get her everything she needs. She needs probably to be like dewormed and shots and all that stuff, so. Oh yep. yeah. We got her the basics. She already has a couple toys. She has some food. Here, good girl for coming back. Go see the water. What's that? She didn't love that. <laughs> Opal loves my hiking wheelchair just as much as I do. She's like living her best life here. Do you like doing a trip? Do you like going for a ride? So I'm wearing a fanny pack and then I tied this scarf like around it and made her like a little baby holster so her little butt is held here so she can't fall out. She's being a good girl. We're watching the geese. Definitely love her, it's just already, but it's just a big, big adjustment to our lives. Also, I don't know if I've ever like talked about this, but I had a dog that was like everything to me and I lost her about five years ago. Have not had a dog since. So it's just been really difficult to make that choice. But when I saw her there, I just really wanted to like help her out and give her a really good life. And like, she was really cute. So I think it was meant to be. Yeah, I think she's definitely healing me. It's just honestly, it's been a tough transition. Plus like, it's always been me and Brian. We don't have to worry about kids or like anything else. So now we're about puppies, like a full-time job, but we're working hard to paint, potty train her and get her to be a good girl, but she's honestly doing great. So we're really, happy and it'll be like a transition, but I think a worth it transition. She'll be a nice little addition to our lives. She's over here just watching the geese. She's really bitey and like feisty, but I kind of like it. It's kind of cute, but it's like really hard to get anything done. Honestly, it's honestly crazy. She's just into everything because she's teething. Sam a brat. She does have this little like hurt mark here. They said that she was attacked by a bigger dog. So I'm not sure what happened, but we'll take care of that. Right, baby? We'll get you a chickpea. Ready? Give me a kiss. Good girl. Here. Good girl. Oh, don't spill it. Ooh, you're getting pressure sores in your feet. Not that. All right, we're at the laundromat because the brat peed on all of our bedding. So we're gonna wash all of that. Luckily, Lake Washita has an awesome laundromat that you can use. So I really love that. It's only $2.50 for a wash and like $2 for a dry and they do take credit cards. Very convenient. So yeah, she peed on our bed last night. Didn't you? Time to wash it all. Been a big responsibility taking up a dog while we were also trying to do all the stuff we're doing. But I feel like it was all for a reason and it'll work out. Right? Are you worth it? You're worth it. The flies are like insane over here. So that's another thing that like kind of aggravated because it was so hot and humid all day. And then there's like 500 flies literally everywhere all day.
finally it's starting to calm down and we're getting our laundry clean and then we're gonna make dinner and then I'll probably feel way better. Laundry done, it's loud as hell in here, but. I'm with it, it's really clean in here, which I also really like. I gotta tell you, I'm exhausted. I haven't had a puppy in a long time, and it's like a lot of work. Brian's making me coffee in the van, which I'm really excited for. I really need to pick me up right now. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, when I say good girl, she gets treated. You want a little? Oh, are you treat? <laughs> you can't have the phone. You like milk? She likes the milk. Our girl is hungry. I'll get it full. Eat till your heart desire. Okay, because she's excited. Are you ready? Are you hungry? Sit, sit, sit. She doesn't have to sit for dinner, does she? It's just in the beginning. Sit. Oh, good sit. Yes, good girl. See, she's such a good girl. Nicolette's finishing up laundry, and she just ate. So she's just relaxing and being a good girl. Right, Opal? They told us she might be deaf but she seems to respond pretty well to us. It's cool that we randomly got Opal and she just happens to be like a chill ass dog. I mean, she is a little nippy, but we think that that might be because they said she got attacked by the other dogs in the family. So we think maybe that has to do with it. Join bed, baby. Here you go, yes. So I'll wait for her to fall asleep and then I'll go help Nicolette so she doesn't see me. I took the pup out. I'm gonna take her out one more time before we go to bed, just so that way, last night she did pee in the bed and it like got on Nicolette. She was not happy, so we just did laundry from that. We do not want that to happen again because we don't want to do laundry again tomorrow. We're not gonna sleep, you know, with pee in the bed. So we're gonna try our best just to make sure that we take her out right before we go to bed and we don't give her any more water or food after that. All right. My two girls. Are you being a good girl over there? We gotta make the bed, don't we? We've had a really long day. We didn't get everything done that we want to. So we're actually just taking it nice and easy to get all our tasks done because there's so much to do. We just have to take it step by step and ease into it because you know it's a big responsibility to take on a new pup. Especially when you live in a small area and you need to figure it all out. This is one of Opal's first timeouts. She was biting Nicolette, she's teething, but she just bites a little too rough with her puppy teeth literally bites the back of your arm. So her time out as she goes on the floor. Ah, no, no, off. Come on, down. Do you like the barrier I put there for her so she can't get up front? Yes. <laughs> Good girl. Go lay down, Opal. You're on time out. <laughs> she came up through it like that. What'd she do? She doesn't like being on the floor when we're on the bed or Nicolette's on the bed. Well, you're being mean and biting the back of my arm. That hurts. No more biting then, baby. Really bad. No more biting. Nothing like a murder mystery or a murder crime story and some ramen. Amen. I'm like exhausted. This is what new parents feel like. I think it's like day three or four with Opal in our lives. I could be wrong. I really don't know. It's just been kind of busy. We've been tired. We feel like new parents, you know, we got a pup. Last night she did have to pee while we were sleeping and she used the pad, so that was great. Yeah, she's honestly been such a good little girl. I think ultimately she's bringing a lot of happiness and joy to our life and in our van. We're adjusting, we love her. We hope you guys enjoy this video of us rescuing a puppy. And now Opal's part of our life. It's Nicolette, Brian, and Opal. Say hi, Opal. Say hello. I don't know if she's it. in you it. You guys are gonna be seeing a lot more of Opal because she's just a big part of our lives now, so. She's a good little kisser. Oh. She's a sweetheart, but she's a brat. Y'all are gonna, you guys are gonna see that too, so. Thanks for watching this video. And if you guys wanna see Opal, become a dog and see like all the places we all visit together as a family then just subscribe and follow along yep right. and there is a, a way to become a member on our channel opal said she would love if you became a member there's going to be a little tab where you could support opal's life by becoming a member and we'll do little updates specifically for members um, or you could do the two dollar a month one and uh, that helps just support and make videos like this so we'll see you next episode say bye
Bye-bye. Say, oh, I'll see you later.